Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to Hacks 101. So, one thing I really want to point out is I forgot to mention it in the other video is this. Um, I have no idea what caused that or why it looks like that, but that's something <laughs> you should really fix, Tails. Also, not a big deal, but the one pixel of green right there is kind of bugging me. But that's just my OCD talking, saying it does not look right. Also, I want to say there should be lines there, there, there. But again, that's my OCD saying, hey, something doesn't look right and get rid of those two. And Yeah, enough of that. Anyway, uh, kind of an announcement little feature here at the beginning before I really get into it. Um, I am starting a new job sometime next week, between Monday and Friday. So, the 28th through the 5th or something like that. I'm starting a new job. Because of this, my wife decided, hey, let's go on vacation. Well, technically... Uh, we were going to go on vacation anyway next week, but she pushed it up a week because, hey, I was going to be working and we can go right now. And she said, hey, why don't we go a week early? So very impromptu, very like last minute. We decided to do it, what, yesterday? So uh, I'm going to leave you with a, like, marathon of Hacks 101. Uh, try and get through as much as I can. And, oh, there we go. Uh, credits. Yeah, try and get through as much as I possibly can. Do, 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 do. Music. Special thanks. Do, do. Hey, look, there's my name. Yay! And Timothy Boar and Raukow and Yoshi Cookie Zeus hacks by Tails one five five. The goal of this hack is to put an end to poor quality hacks. It takes very little effort to make it nice, so do so. Which is true. Everyone has the cap capability to be creative. If a good idea comes to mind, why make a muncher-filled cement cage? Decorate it. Which is also true. Other ideas. This is the fun part. All these tiny little levels. I'm going to kind of, let's see. Here's the direction I'm going to go. I'm going to go this way, then down, then this way. Then I'm going to go like, do, 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 do. Da, da. Something like that, maybe. Or I might go down, da, da, ah. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's just go over to uh, the first one. On-off indicator. It's a ghost house. Hello, Mr. Ghost House. Oh, hey. That's actually pretty cool. Putting multiple on-off switches next to each other can activate twice. This is frustrating. I didn't know that. Oh, yes, I did. Never mind. For puzzle levels which have on-off switches, but the indication isn't obvious, use some indicator. See the reserve box. Which, that is actually a pretty awesome idea. Do, 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 do. Next one. Convenient ch con wait, convent? Whatever. Oh, look at the happy box. Actually, it's a key. To make a good gradient, press Alt and right click on the two colors between which you want to make a gradient. That is so true. If a key isn't being used as a key, change its graphics so the player isn't confused. Hello, Mr. Happy Box. We. Run, be free, Mr. Happy Box. I said be free. Next. Better use of vines. 
do 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 it is nice touch to add some sort of alternate vine graphics it opens options up a bit with them yes it does layer 2 doesn't work well with vines Mario and Luigi don't move a layer 2 so they will slide off the vines which is also true we and exiting going over here tides as indicators or tiles as indicators why did I say tides oh look at the angry little man with like very messed up hands I guess coins aren't the only tiles which can be used to indicate something use the tiles to ah use the tiles to uh, use the tiles too as there should be a comma right there as much advantage as as my okay it's kind of odd sentence structure in games with reset doors indicate that a door is a reset door so the player isn't confused I usually say uh, put an R or something little like I don't know a uh, graphic for recycling I don't know just something that indicates reset a couple more notes sprites besides Mario and Luigi cannot affect message boxes pay attention to sp or spacing and spelling feathers tend to break games so only add feathers if the player can can't break every level in the game which is true that's one reason I get s like very picky on people that uh, put feathers so early in the hack because in general it's almost always a game breaker too much time may not be frustrating but it can seem pointless don't let the ending counter max out too little time isn't only frustrating it can be impossible impossible is not fun we now let's come down here let's see if I do do now nah, let's just go in my order avoid breaking have someone who is good at breaking levels test a hack to make sure there's nothing easy to skip or otherwise break. Avoid having walls that extend all the way to the top of the screen because Mario can jump over them and inside of the area that's walled off. That is true. It's annoying. Avoid awful music. Please avoid using red uh, redundant music in difficult levels and especially in tedious levels redundant music makes the trial far worse awful music doesn't just mean bad ports awful music could be an ambience ambience thing don't pick a song because it's a favorite which is true like dr. Wiley's castle thing awful remakes uh, I to avoid remakes Oh, I'm moving. Don't remake an existing level. It's been made a thousand times. Everyone has a 1-1 remake. Be creative. Be original. The, if there is suspicion that a level is too similar to an existing one, just believe it is and make something else. Um, I do think there's exceptions to those rules. Uh, remaking a level in a sort of like callback for a special world type thing or remaking levels from other games in a like hey let's try Mario physics in another game universe I find fine but Mario 1-1 been done so many times avoid mean tricks using map 16 to uh, to be clever is nice, but using map 16 to trick the player is unfair, or in unfair ways, is just that. Unfair. Avoid mean tricks. Death rooms are not fun. They are not clever. They are not tricky. They are not entertaining. They are not fair. Do not use them. Nah, have no argument there. I went that way. This way. Avoid bad puzzles. I'm something on my foot. 
please, please do not make narrow puzzles, note block mazes, uh, guess and check mazes, or anything of the sort. Tedious is not fun. Uh, yes and no. Uh, the guess and check with like a big pipe maze where you have three pipes and then two pipes and four pipes could be fun as long as those pipes don't always take you back to the beginning of it all if you're wrong because that can be tedious and annoying uh, mix it up and add variety if maze or puzzle is desired make sure that there is enough time on the clock to complete the puzzle or no time on the clock at all well this is going to complete this uh, little first part I'll be back in a second with more layer priority